Today is Tuesday, 12-18-2012, and uh, <clears throat> back in Connecticut they buried two more of those little kids, two more, and a whole lot more to come. To me, to me, this bothers me. I mean, this bothers me more than 9/11. This is the new 9/11. You know, if, if I if I could just get it out there, you know, like 20, 12, 14, never again. And uh, that's yeah, pretty sad. There's a number of things you can do, or we can do as a nation besides you know, going for an outright ban. One of them is requiring liability insurance. The more powerful the weapon, the more liability you have to have. Just like the larger your vehicle you drive. And some of those big rigs, it's up to $5 million liability. You know, um, I forget, I think it's the ones with the, the high explosives. The more powerful the weapon, the higher. So when you get to the range of, of like these Bushmasters and that sort of stuff, one to two million. It's your weapon, you're liable, you gotta have insurance, otherwise you don't get the damn gun. Here's another thing, you could do this either or. Um, you know, you could do this instead, or you could do it in addition to the liability. It's an excise tax, a sliding scale. The more dangerous, the more powerful the weapon, the higher the surcharge. So it'd be like, if at the base, just the bottom level 22 handgun, it's 100%. You get up to these AK-47s, it's 1,000%. So instead of costing 500, it'll cost 5,500. But if they really believe they need these weapons to ensure their lives, then they'll pay it. If it's really that important to them, they'll pay it. People pay more than that for cars all the time. There's another thing. This is a copy of the USS, the USS, the US Constitution. This is a small copy of the U.S. Constitution. No, it's not Mao's little red book. It's the U.S. Constitution. Now these gun people say, among they say pretty much two things. They need to defend themselves. You know, as if in, like in the Hollywood movies, there's somebody shooting up the house, like that really happens. The only time, pretty much the only time automatic weapons are used, it's just a drive-by, you boom, they're gone. No standard, shooting, shooting, shooting. That's only in Hollywood movies. The other thing they say, oh, we need this for, you know, for a militia, um, you know, the Second Amendment, we need to fight off the, the federal government taking over and becoming the federal government. Yeah, to be honest, most of them are, are thinking it's sort of, sort of a Red Dawn or, or a UN or a fascist or Gestapo just suddenly sh materializing on their street and coming for their guns and they're going to somehow fight them off. It'd be a fight to the death. I mean, can you imagine trying to take out... I mean, I don't, obviously they didn't have that name, but it's called the Apache Gunship. You, t you take one of those on with a, is a uh, with an Uzi, and there won't be much left of you. As gruesome as that is, but so they're going with this. We constitute the militia. They throw the Second Amendment in our face time and time again. Okay, fine. So you're a militia. What does the Second Amendment says? It says, a well-regulated, oh, there's, hear that word? Regulated. 
a well regulated, not just regulated, but well regulated, well regulated. It's like, hey, fine. If you're going to see your, if you're going to put yourself under the umbrella of the Second Amendment, then you have to follow what it says. A well regulated militia. I've got, there are things besides a ban. One of them would be liability insurance. You have a car, you got to have liability insurance. You have a gun, you have liability insurance. The more powerful, the more dangerous a weapon, the more you pay. So, you know, uh, maybe you pay a hundred a month or fifty a month for a, a little twenty-two no, Derringer. But when you get up to these Bushmasters and Uzis and AK-47s, then maybe you're required to carry a million or two million dollars in insurance. You know, the trucking industry, they go one, two, five million, depending on what you're, uh, what they're hauling. That would be regulation, and it would be justifiable under the Constitution. Liability. And here's another thing you can do, either separate or in addition, and this could apply to all guns also. A surcharge. Remember, it's in the Constitution. A well-regulated militia. Oh, hold on. I don't know what's with this camera. Anyway. So maybe uh, at the top of the line, if you maybe at the, the bottom end of the scale, you have a uh, 100% surcharge. So instead of costing 100 bucks, that gun will cost you 200. I mean, if it's that important for their well-being, to save their lives, and like anybody, I'd be happy to pay two hundred dollars if it, if I thought it meant keeping myself alive. Now you go up at the upper end. Fine, you pay a thousand percent. Again, the same argument. If you really think you absolutely have to have that that military weapon here on the streets, in your home that it would be worthwhile for you to pay that premium. So instead of 500, it'll cost you 5,500. It'd still be cheaper than a car. Let's see who really believes they need that to ensure their safety.